They are rhymes rudely strung with intent less of sound than of words, in lands where bright blossoms are scentless, and songless bright birds, where, with fire and fierce drought on her tresses, insatiable summer oppresses sere woodlands and sad wildernesses, and faint flocks and herds. Where in dry eeriest days, when all dews end, and all winds are warm, wild winter's large floodgates are loosened, and floods, freed by storm, from broken up fountain heads, dash on dry deserts with long pent up passion. Here rhyme was first framed without fashion, song shaped without form. When scattered, the locusts glad cheer up may furnish a stave, the ring ass rowl and stir up, the wash of the wave, the chant of a marsh frog in rushes that chimes through the pauses and hushes of nightfall, the torrent that gushes, the tempests that rave in the deepening of dawn, when it dapples the dusk of the sky. With streaks like the reddening of apples, the ripening of right to eastward, when cluster by cluster, dim stars and dull planets, that muster, wax wan in a world of white luster that spreads far and high. In the gathering of night gloom or head, in the still silent change, all fire flushed when forest trees redden on slopes of the range when the gnarled knotted trunks eucalyptian seemed carved like weird columns Egyptian with curious device quaint inscription and aeroglyph strange. In the spring, when the wattle gold trembles twixt shadow and shine, when each dew-laden air draft resembles a long draft of wine, when the skyline's blue burnished resistance makes deeper the dreamiest distance, some song in all hearts hath existence, such songs have been mine.